Uh, the beta is over. Sad times. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for the next 10 days. I'm not playing Street Fighter 5. <laughs> not after playing the netcode on 6. I can't go back to 5. Uh, but I, I guess we could talk about it. I guess we should talk about the beta a little bit and some of my thoughts. So I did play the previous two betas, like the closed ones. Uh, and I noticed that this version of the beta is the exact same, right? Like when you go to Steam to download the file, it's the exact same like 14 gig file. So the gameplay itself didn't change but I think the level of play like from the community was a lot higher uh, and not because everybody's playing the crack some people playing the crack but not everybody <laughs> uh, I think it's because we were exposed to it like some of us were exposed to the game already before so we kind of had an idea of what we were getting ourselves into and the demo right a lot of people were playing the demo so I think the level of play got uh, much higher and with that higher level of play uh, I wasn't annoyed or anything right I was just kind of I was kind of like, damn, I wish there was a character that I really cared about that I could go in the training mode and like lab to the level that some people that I was playing have already labbed their characters. Like I played people who had uh, like double drive rush combos, like very optimal conversions. You can tell they really cared about their character and they really put some time into them. Uh, I'm just the type of dude who if I don't like the character I'm playing, it's very hard for me to go into the lab and optimize them. I can go lab a character... Uh, and learn how to beat them, but I'm not optimizing damage and like spending a ton of time learning that character specifically. I'm like learning the options that I'm losing to if I'm labbing a matchup. Uh, it, it's much different to like lab my main character. So I'm really excited for that because I, I felt kind of sad about it because I, <laughs> I knew that I wanted more like out of Ryu, but I, I know I'm never, I'm probably never going to pick him up in the, in the game like when it actually comes out. So I kept having that like debate in my head. Do I want to waste... My time on the beta optimizing Ryu or do I just want to play a bunch of games? I played a bunch of games instead. I think that my definition of a lot of games though is a little bit different from some people's like <laughs> most of my games I played against my friends in battle lounges or on the cabinet in the battle hub whatever you want to call it and I probably played like a hundred a hundred games or something like that not anything crazy but a decent amount because I'd already played this beta twice already you know in December and then whenever the one was before that so i was kind of not tired of it I, it's just like i said i wanted the new characters like i wanted to play <laughs> the characters i gave a fuck about also this time i wanted to watch a lot more people like i watched goichi and momochi and uh i think bonchan i don't remember who i just watched a bunch of the japanese players and like punk you know i was watching like very high level gameplay this time because the first two betas i didn't really get off I, I just played the game a bunch of like i just played the game like that's all i did <laughs> so this time i wanted to watch it a little bit uh, from the perspective of some high level players. I also wanted to watch the tournament. They had like a big uh, like beta bash tournament, but I slept through the whole thing and then I woke up <laughs> and watched grand finals. Uh, and it was, it was interesting. I'll say that it was interesting because there was a lot of people who are known uh, crack users and some players who weren't. And, and the difference was very obvious. If you, <laughs> if you haven't seen like an example of somebody abusing the crack, there is a high fight clip of a certain Guile player playing on modern controls and bro does like a 90 hit combo. This shit looks like an infinite on Guile and I, I don't know. I just thought it was really funny because you can't even deny that you weren't playing the crack if you're on modern controls. Like where the hell are you going to practice modern control Guile like infinite? This shit is crazy. But it's whatever I guess. I mean Capcom's not going to punish them so who am I to judge right? Capcom is uh the judge during execution in the situation and they're doing none of those jobs so fuck it <laughs> i myself have not dabbled in the crack but uh maybe i should have at this point like <laughs> capcom a month before the game comes out says hey if you were abusing the the crack beta for the past year fuck it bro slap on the wrist just don't do it anymore it's like what like <laughs> like what's even the point anyways let's talk about the gameplay uh like i said it has not really changed from the first two betas uh that i know of and I think that's a good thing because in the first two betas, everybody was complaining about drive impact. They thought it was broken. They thought it should be two bars. They thought it should be this, that, and the other. But lo and behold, over time and over having more exposure to the game, people have started to react to it, including myself. Maybe, maybe not every time. Definitely not every time, but maybe like three out of 10 times, which is like a 300 batting average in the MLB. So that's pretty good, right? <laughs> that's pretty good. I'm like a decent hitter in the MLB. Uh, but yeah, I, I can react to it. A decent amount of times the first two betas i wasn't reacting to it at all at least now when i see it uh i'll either press a button or i'll be like oh hey i need to look out for that next time the only thing that i i really am having a problem with is drive rush because it, when they do it raw in neutral 
it's like one bar i think and it feels very hard to react to like by the time i see the green it's too late it's way too late like i'll stick out a button and my button will get thrown or I'll stick out a button and i'll get counter hit from like uh, i don't know like a crotch medium punch or something it, it, you just have to preemptively know when it's coming and like stick out a light or like throw a fireball or something it's really tough to deal with i feel like at least for me uh and but not off of a button right because i do it off a button i don't think there's a gap for you to even check it so that, that's kind of the biggest thing i've had an issue with other than that i think with punishing felt a little weird like the hurt and hit boxes just didn't feel like they overlapped right to me I, I don't know it's a weird thing but it felt like when somebody whiffed and i went to whiff punish and i felt like in my mind it was um like a guaranteed whiff punish it just never was so i had to start like hit confirming my whiff punishes a little bit more which felt kind of weird you know it just felt like some buttons that my opponent was whiffing should have been whiff punished, but they just weren't. And that could be hurtbox hitbox interactions, but it could also just be my timing, because it is a new game and it does flow at a different pace. That That's the other thing, is the game, once you get used to it a little bit more, it is pretty fast. Like, uh, when I first played it, it felt slow when I got my hands on it in the first beta. Now that I kind of understand how things flow and how my character moves, and the speed at which my character moves, it, it feels faster. It, it does. It doesn't feel sluggish. It doesn't feel like my character has that weird momentum when they're moving left and right. It feels fluid now. I think the game itself, though, is such a great package. Like, single player, the battle hub is such a great addition. I, I was streaming it in Discord to one of my friends who doesn't play fighting games at all. He just plays League of Legends. <laughs> and, and he was like, oh, the battle hub looks really cool. You know, like, everybody's there. Like, that's a really cool feature, right? Because a lot of other games have that already. Like, Destiny and... A lot of other games uh <laughs> but it's like a concept that's in more popular games and i don't know why it hasn't translated to fighting games very well in the past but this time uh, i think there's enough within that battle hub for people to just continue to use it I, I know i'll continue to use it because you can queue up for ranked matches and casual matches within the battle hub so it's just a better uh, place to queue for matches I think than just a, a home screen you know even like the avatar like creator thing is such a good addition it's something I didn't really care about at all until I loaded up the game and I like clicked through the menus and then I got into the battle hub and I saw everybody's cool little characters and I was like damn I, I wish I spent more time online because I just clicked through it I was like nobody's gonna give a fuck about this and then I saw all the insane shit in the battle hub Damn, should have should have listened to him. Should have listened to Capcom, but hopefully in the full release, uh, I'll get to remake my guy. Uh, and I like the accessories and stuff too, and the fact that you can, I think you can win accessories from the Battle Hub tournaments, which kind of gives you the incentive to enter them. Because uh, if you don't know, in Street Fighter Five, there is a tournament mode. Uh, nobody uses it, and I actually don't even know if it really works because I've never seen anybody use it. And we got to talk about Kimberly before I let you guys go because I've seen. A lot of people complain about the character, and I get it, because she is annoying to play against, but I think she is a real knowledge check character. Like, once you get the full game, you get to go into training mode and uh, mess around with her, I think you'll figure it out. Because I figured out a few things in, like, the five minutes that I <laughs> I went into training mode, and I did, like, the forward uh, heavy kick where she runs at you. I was like, oh, you can DP to follow up, and if they fake it, you just don't do anything. Uh, and then I think if she does the cross up thing, you can like jump back jab or you can jump forward jab. Th there's counterplay to all the weird gimmicks that she has. You just have to react to it and it is tough. Uh, my thing though is I think in the final game, there's going to be more characters that are even more annoying for you. Like Kimberly might be at the bottom of your hatred list by, <laughs> by the time you get on the game. Because remember, there's going to be a bunch of grapplers. One of them has like a neutral skip option into <laughs> into a uh, command grab lily uh honda's in the game that's all i need to say about him and geef looks strong right like those are three characters that are terrifying to be strong and blanca has a, a doll he has a projectile now we we have bigger problems in kimberly okay we got to figure it out <laughs> i think that's all i have for you guys uh overall it's fun like the game itself is fun i'm excited to see how it develops i'm excited to see how i develop as a player and I'm excited to play all the other characters because I don't really know who I'm going to play yet. I'm not 100% certain on who I'm going to play yet. But there are a few characters that I'm really excited to try. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and I'll talk to you again very soon.